Hello student, in this video, I will cover 11 person LTI mind tree AI or chatbot interview question. Real exam, real interview question, not any random question. I have already uploaded two videos regarding the LTI mind tree AI interview exam question. First and the second video, check the description, you will get the playlist link. So let it start from the first person. The common question for every person, the first question, self-introduction and then hobby. And all the questions based on your resume. So add at those projects who is actually you know. You need to upload the resume before starting the interview. Later project which I kept in my resume. What difficulty I have faced, how I resolved them. About the internship, if you have then they will ask. If you don't have then AI will not ask. And Git versus GitHub, that is from also resume. First, but you can expect question from the Git or GitHub because you have built project. Then AI can ask, have you deployed or have you like in the GitHub and uploaded project in the GitHub? Now, what would I prefer? Python is C and also you need to give reason. Algorithm I used for the project, whatever you have building project, you should follow one algorithm. Algorithm not mean like bubble sort, quick sort. Your project workflow, you can explain. And then one question, the coding question, you will have 30 minutes for the coding question. And you can choose language Java, Python or .NET. You will have three options. The question editing an element at a specific place and array, like you have given on array 1, 2, 3, 4 and 0, 1, 2, 3. Index. I need to add it element 5 in the index 2. So maybe answer 1, 2, 5, then 3, 4. That will be your answer. This one question. Easy question. Insert element in the array. Moving to the next person. First question introduce about your course, like wh which have gone through my academics or what you have learned from the courses. Mention those you know properly. If you know computer network, you can mention. If you know like OS or anything, if you know properly, mention those topics first. If you don't know, no, no, no need to mention. Because if you mention something, AI can ask you the question from that topic. And then again, the hobby or extracurricular activity. Explain about your project. Yes, project question will be asked or you need to upload your resume. And the project challenge, role, technical difficulty, algorithm and difference between overriding or overloading. Oops, you should know all the four pillars and overriding, overloading that is from the polymorphism and some technical question from the skill which I have included in my resume. So include those part which actually you know. And the SQL you should know all types of join and basic command use case for the project and the coding, coding easy, prime number. You can easily check prime number. And you will have 30 minutes to solve. And once you solve, you can't run. You need to click in the review. There will be one review button. When you click in the review, then AI will give feedback. Is your code right, wrong, or anything, error? AI will give feedback. Once AI will say it's good, then you could submit. But within 30 minutes. Person 3, introduction hobby. Hobby and introduction common question. Then pose it and overfitting and it's migration, the mitigation, migration should be in ML model. Okay, in the, maybe he or she, the, in this resume mention the machine learning. If you mention machine learning, they can ask question. And hackathon, if you mention hackathon in a resume, then ask can be question. Difference between scale no scale, uh, that can be asked, general question, you can see. Explain the concept, time and space complexity. That's also a general question. Could you provide example where an efficient algorithm could make significant difference? Yes, you can provide like binary search, one efficient algorithm. Gradient descent, that is for machine learning. If you mention in your resume, I know machine learning as a skill or was it? Yes, I can ask question. Again, the question for the machine learning. And the coding question, Perfect square, a number like 9, that is perfect square, 3 square. So you need to check perfect square not within 30 minutes you have. And you can ask, 
yes, you should need user input. Actually, you need user input. But you can ask to the AI, do I need user input or hard coding? Always ask to the interview, not only AI, interview also. Don't directly jump into the code. Next, again, self-introduction, then hobby, academic like, project question, project algorithm, no scale, SQL, Artemis defense, that is common question, SQL version, no scale, concept of schema in relation database management system, machine learning, form resume, this one form also resume, HTTP, this one from the resume also, concept of DOM manipulation, that is from the front end resume, if you, in your resume, if you mention, if you done, like, widget on web development, then can ask, document object ma manipulation, I guess, and question about widget, resume specific git and github, how to resolve merge conflict, version control, and the coding question, if check, if substring present in the string or not, like you have given a string, a, B, C, D, E, F and one S2, S1 and S2 like D, E, D present yes. So you need to check substring present or not. Easy question. Now, fifth person, again introduction and hobby. Same question, overriding, how overcome in you know, a during project, same difference between MLDL, Certification, if you include any certificate in your resume, you can ask question from this topic. Yeah. Mostly resume specific question and post it. And the coding question, convert an integer. Like you have integer equal to 5. And the binary 101, you need to convert integer to binary. Simple question. Now, person 6. Introduction hobby, why you choose this course? This course means your degree like CSC or whatever you have. Explain your role in the posit. This one from the posit. And like group posit. Algorithm. Same question asked repeatedly. Repeated. Difference between stack and queue. That is general question from the DSA. This one list and tuple from the Python. And the DBMS question. Two questions. Yes, DBMS you can say general. Because in your resume, you must have DBMS SQL. Oops. Normalization. That is from the SQL. And if you have implement in your project, you need to explain. If you have not implement, you can explain also. Because I, in your project, no need something, you can explain. And the coding question, thought me. Replace all duplicate character with a string with underscore. Like A, A, B, C, C. So A, A and C, C duplicate. So underscore, B, underscore, underscore. A string with underscore. Now, next question. Introduction. Then hobbies, explain your posit, challenge, same repeated question, polymorphism, and whoops, and the normalization, again the same question, SQL, again the same question, waste model and its layer from the computer network, and the coding question, given array, rotate its right step by key, you can use reverse method. I have already uploaded the right rotate, left rotate video, you can check. And if, even if you are preparing for any company, LNT, Infosys, Cognizant, Accenture, Capgemini, you can watch my playlist, check the description, I can explore my channel. Now, moving to the next person, 8. Again, the same question. Introduction, hobby, substitution, project based, difference between SQL and SQL, Java, polymorphism, if you mention I know Java, encapsulation, poly, Python list, agile model waterfall, this one from the uh, this one, software engineering. Challenge you have faced, this is same question again and again. This one, machine learning. Explain about stack. So that is from DSA, they can ask in this one, general question. Multi-threading Java from resume. And the 30 minute coding check if list has only integer value or not. That is from the Python. Mainly, but you can use the Java also in the list. In the present only integer or not. Person 9. Introduction hobby posit and based on certificate. Same question repeated. Prepare all these questions, you will get the exact question. Difference between supervised and unsupervised and also prepare your resume. Main thing. This one from the posit ML. Oops concept, yeah, they can ask. This one general. Overfitting, underfitting, that's one from the posit. Machine learning. Discuss the concept of tool you have learned during 
this python course if we mention like i have done python course certification now they can ask question what you have learned in the python course can you explain what you have implement how they help you in your technical skill the hackathon if you have done then you need to prepare and the coding question reverse the array too easy question now moving to the next person person 10 again self introduction hobby project academic project algorithm sql acid property so this one general resume specific bob model open data dsa oops resume git and github and one coding question moving to the last person like introduce yourself project one coding question question related to my skill introduction hobbies completely related to the resume even if you put put html it was asking about the details about in project so if you put anything you should know in the details and the git and github prepare git and github too easy related to the python syntax and c++ if you mention your resume difference between list and tuple python again same client and server model you should know this one from the dbms it can be cn also data normalization in sql let's one from the dbms common question this one framework versus library this one python but you should know and one coding question to insert a number into array same question asked by the first person i guess the repeated question so if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section so i have discussed already 11 person interview experience prepare all these question and plus your resume content whatever you have mentioned in your resume you need to upload resume before starting the interview so don't mismatch like upload pupa resume like you have built your resume but you have upload wrong resume don't do this okay now if you have any doubt you can ask and do subscribe my channel for more update if i got more question from my student i will post